Welcome, welcome back, and I need help at C squared. In this example, we need to find the volume and the surface area of the cone below. And we notice here we have the radius. This is 12. And this here is what we call the slant height. And these are the two formula we're going to use. And I'm going to start with the surface area since we know this slant height. So the surface area for this cone will be pi r and that L is the slant height plus pi r squared. This one here is the lateral area. And the last part here is the base, the circle. With center at O in this case. So here we're going to have uh, pi times the radius. The uh, radius is 12. And the slant height, the uh, L, is 37 plus pi r squared. And again, radius, if you remember, is 12. So we're going to do some simplification here. 12 times 37. And that is 444. 444 pi plus 12 squared is 144, 144 pi. The last thing we can do here is to combine these two like terms. And that will be 588 pi. The surface area of this cone is 588 pi squared units. And now we can move to the volume, but first of all, for finding the volume, we need to find the height of the cone, which is this segment, VO. And if you notice, this triangle will be a right triangle. So, VOB is a right triangle. And we know this is 12 and this is 37. 12 is one of the legs. 37 is the hypotenuse. We need to find the other leg. And for that reason, I'm going to use the Pythagorean theorem. a squared plus b squared equals c squared. So we're going to have here x squared plus 12 squared equals 37 squared. So that will be x squared plus 12 squared is 144. And 37 squared is 1369. I'm going to subtract 144 from both sides. And I end up with x squared equals 1,225. For finding x, we're going to just need to take square root. And that will be 35. Dx is 35, but again, this x in our case is nothing else than the height, the height of this cone is 35. So now we can find the volume. The volume will be 1 over 3 times pi times radius square times the height. You see that formula, the first formula. So in this case, we're going to have 1 over 3 pi times 35 square times the height. I'm sorry, the, the radius is not 35. The radius is 12. So 12 square times 35. So we're going to have here v equals 1 over 3 pi. 12 squared is 144 times 35. And now we can simplify here. 3 goes in 144. 48 times. So the volume will be that 48 times 35. That will be 1,680 pi cubic units. The volume is in cubic units. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to click the like button and come back and C-square for more help.
Thank you.